Let's move on to 1 p.m. Eastern. Cleveland Browns, 2-4, and 1-1 one and one on the road. The Baltimore Ravens, 3-3, 1-2 three and three, one and two at home. We're at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. 66 Fahrenheit, mostly cloudy, 4 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the line history here for this divisional battle. We have the Ravens opening up as six-point favorites, moved to six and a half. The total opened up at 46, minus 107 to the under, some minus 114 to the under. Uh, this did get up to 47 for a little while yesterday. Sitting at 46 right now. Let's take a look at the cash for Baltimore, Cleveland. 5,485 tickets in, 63% of the tickets, 72% of the cash on the Ravens. Market moves a half point towards them. Then 70% of the tickets, 65% of the cash on the over. We'll start with the Browns coming in off their worst loss of the season, 38-15 at home to the Patriots. Most points allowed by Cleveland this season. Most lopsided loss. Brissett, 21-45 of for 266 yards, touchdown two picks. Lost a fumble. Donovan Peoples-Jones caught four passes for 74 yards. Njoku caught three for 58. Amari Cooper caught four for 44. Chubb entered the leading rusher in the NFL. And he ran 12 times for 56 yards, both season lows. Didn't have a double-digit gain until late in the third quarter. The defense couldn't get stopped. So Miles Garrett recorded both of the Browns' sacks. He's the career sack leader for them. And stripped the ball from Zappi in the first quarter. But then he left the game with an injury. It's a shoulder injury. It's aggravated from the car crash. He said he plans to play next week. The Browns rank 28th in yards per play allowed – uh, they're allowing six yards per play. This defense is far, far worse than I expected them to be. They allow five yards per carry, and we know what the Ravens want to do. Also, Wyatt T uh, Teller, their Pro Bowl right guard, Pro Bowl right guard, left in the second quarter with a calf injury and did not return. He had an MRI yesterday, but I just couldn't seem to get information on what was the results of it. The Ravens come in an angry group. Another fourth quarter lead slipping away. Uh, they outgain the Giants badly and lose 24-20. Lamar Jackson, 17 of 32 for 210 yards. Touchdown on the pick. Ran seven for 77. Mark Andrews had seven catches for 106 yards and a touchdown. That's his 900-yard game. Ties him with Mark Clayton for the franchise record. And then J.K. Dobbins re-injured his knee. Now Kenyon Drake replaced him and looked great. 10 carries for 119 yards and a touchdown, but that's they got to get him right. They got to get him right. The Ravens out gained the Giants 406 to 238. They averaged seven yards per play, and the Giants averaged 3.8, and they lose. The defense had four sacks, five quarterback hits, but again, they're not getting stops when the game is on the line, and they lose right tackle Morgan Moses. A heel injury. He was carted off and will be out for extended period. Take it away for us, Andy Browns, Ravens. Yeah, my numbers can't support the Ravens as a seven-point favorite here, guys. Yeah, they did just sign Deshaun Jackson, as someone points out. Deshaun Jackson, every year, even when he's old, he has like one big play. Like he's good for one bomb. I don't know if it'll be this week or next week, and then he'll be hurt. But uh, yeah, he's always good for one. I don't know if that's enough to move the needle for me. <sighs> this is going to be a lot of running, and I like this under. I'm just worried that the running is going to be too effective. This Cleveland defense, it keeps delving into deeper depths of shit for me. Like, Ramondre Stevenson's not great. He's good enough. But the fact that he averaged four a carry, they were able to kind of get what they wanted. And then, truthfully, this game was hard to evaluate because it quickly, like, once you got into deep into the third quarter, it turned into, wow, I think we're in garbage time. Like, Cleveland's losing by enough. Brissett's not looking as good as he did early in the season. This is a this is a spot, another one, where I approached this game and I said, I'm looking to bet Cleveland here. This is too many points. Baltimore's not seven points better than anyone in their division, truthfully. Like, uh, uh, even against the Steelers, and I know they'd probably line that at eight and a half if they were home. I'm, I, I still don't like the, the Ravens currently being this big of a favorite. The scary part of backing the Ravens is Deshaun Watson, or Deshaun Watson. Lamar Jackson probably is injured. Like, that. that was – hinted at a few weeks back and his play has kind of taken a step back even against some defenses he should have been playing a little better as so probably Cleveland or nothing here and I'm worried that Cleveland's going to get gashed on the ground so I, I do agree with the chat I like this under quite a bit uh 45 and a half 
it's kind of in a dead zone there for me, but uh, I'd lean under. I haven't bet this game. Saturated says, and you kind of, and I think that's why you're staying off. It says if the Browns can score on the Ravens, isn't this an over? And I, I, I would have said that a couple of weeks ago, but Brissett has started to started to regress a little. I don't know if people have, you know, there's enough film on how they're using him in this offense where people are able to scheme against this defense a little better or scheme against this offense. Patriots are good defense, but they shouldn't have been that good. Like they shouldn't have been. I bet the over last week with the Browns and and I expected a lot more out of the Browns. I was disappointed by the run game. I was disappointed by Brissett. So uh, yeah, if Brissett's taking steps back, these there's gonna be a lot of drives that end prematurely and Cleveland's gonna have trouble contributing to this total. Huh. Yeah, I guess I Hearing that you guys are interested in the under, I guess that will keep me off of moving on the over. Do want to find out what's going on with Wyatt Teller as well. Yeah. If he's not there, then I think the under might be a nice look because, you know, the Browns won't be able to move the ball on the ground as efficiently. So that is something for us all to keep an eye out for. And I tried to get that information today. I'm upset that I wasn't able to. 